this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Lunar 2! Let's continue through the Blue Labyrinth. Yeah, for some reason they call this part of the Blue Spire the Labyrinth. The actual Spire part of it is on top of this, so we'll get to that soon enough. I've already cleared all the enemies on this floor off-screen, so what we gotta do here is we gotta go into these rooms and touch those glowing orbs for some reason in order to activate a teleporter down below there. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, also, someone was saying, Ichi Bailey, how is it that Ruby's always able to finish off monsters like that in, in battles? And well, the reason is because I think she's actually uh, coded to do that. Uh, she doesn't always attack and she doesn't always finish off an enemy. So, but she does seem to have a tendency to do so when it's potentially there. Oh, and also a lot of people were uh, saying that they wanted to see the level 14 spell that uh, I mentioned last time, so I will be doing that. Oh yeah, I gained a uh, level or two, yeah, I think with just one level there for Hero, but he didn't learn anything, like new spells or, or anything like that there. So, not really worried about that. But if we go up here, there we go, the last one. Oh, and also... Uh, let's see. Yeah, Hero's speed went up a little bit, so now he's almost certainly going to be faster than those brain pickers. So that really helps out a lot. Speed is just such an important stat to knowing, like, if I can finish off an enemy before they get off a very powerful attack. So anyway, you activate those four orbs, you go down here, and you get teleported. All right. Yeah, you can tell we're not in a battle area because we can move around real fast like this. Whee! Not another one of those statues, huh? Wonder who built the, the statues anyway. Hm, I wouldn't worry about it. But anyway, we go up here. What's up? Whoa, your tower is so big, Hero. I mean, uh, Gwen, or whoever is in charge of custo custodial maintenance or something? I don't know. Well, that's the actual blue spire part of the dungeon. And, well, we got two dungeons in one here. And some new enemies up there, too. So, first things first, to use a statue. Nice of them to give us a healing point in the middle of the place. And let's see, you know what? Let's save here real quick, just in case. There we go. I always like to make backup saves in case I screw up something in an episode before. Which, if you make your own LPs, viewers, you will. I do it all the time. So, okay, we got slimes there, but I'm not worried about them. They're the same as before. But I know we got some new enemies right there. All right. Let's take them on. Let's see. Okay, we got a bomb angel in the back there. Now, that guy, is if he's flashing colors, like flashing red at the tip of his cannon there, uh, that means that he's going to attack with an AoE, and you want to get out of the way really, really fast. Oh, by the way, if you choose the Defend command, you can move around to wherever you want in the battlefield, as long as you're within range. So, if you're trying to spread out from an AoE attack, that's something you could do. You don't just have to attack all the time. So, let's take out the little slimes first. I'm not too worried about the Bomb Angel. Bomb Angels are fairly slow. I think even Gwyn would be faster than them. But Gwyn just probably wouldn't be in range. So you see, he's just kind of sitting there normally. Not really going to hurt you too much. I mean, a little bit, of course. But, you know. Okay, now you see the Bomb Angel charging up there? That means he's going to use his big attack. So we want to finish him off fairly quickly. Uh, let's see. I think I can finish him off with just my regular attacks. If he was doing that in the first round, I'd have Hero use Poe Sword, because... Oh, that even mutes you. Not that that's really a big deal, but... Aw, oh, come on! Gwyn was just barely out of range? Whatever. But yeah, if uh, he was glowing like that in the first round, I would have had Hero use Poe Sword. 
to kill him very quickly. Fortunately, Mute is a temporary status, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh, can I get around that slime there? Oh, we actually do have a new enemy there. Okay, I didn't think I would. Okay, so, an enemy in the back there. Magic Mask. Uh, let's see. If he's just moving his mouth like that, uh, he's going to use an attack that will lower your defense. Uh, how much do I care? Not really. So, you know what? I'm just going to use my normal attacks, because him lowering my defense, not really a big deal. Besides, he's all the way back there, and I don't want to waste the MP on something so insignificant, really. Slimes have 21 HP. Come on, Gwyn. Gain that extra level so you can one-shot him. Okay, well, anyway, I'm going to have Hero go after the Magic Mask and hope that he can finish it off. If not, well, maybe Gwyn can get the job done. And they have 25 HP. Come on, guys! Well, at least we got him. Uh, when, he, when he was moving his head back and forth like that, that means he's just going to attack one character. So I guess that's kind of what his strategy is. Lower your defense, and then... Uh, what is it? Uh, and then follow up with uh, physical attack there. And let's see. I think there's one more new enemy. Let's, uh... I don't think they're on this floor. Let's go upstairs. And see what we got here. If they're up here, great. If not... Ah, there they are. Well, there's one of them. Get over here! Come here! Yeah, it's the best scorpion impression I got, viewers. Okay, so, got the last new enemy around here. Crystal Knights. And when their arms are crossed like that, that means they're just going to use a normal attack. I'm not really worried about it. If they got their hands in the air, then that means they're going to attack you for more damage from range. So, you're not going to be able to count on them getting to you. So, let's just use our normal attacks there. Sometimes what I do is... Oh, he just attacks from range anyway. But he doesn't deal more damage, so that's okay. But yeah, sometimes something I like to do is... Okay, yeah, you see that? He's gonna attack really, really bad now. Um... Do I want to use Poe's sword? Not really. I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. I mean, it's so... It's the second round of the battle, so... I'm not extraordinarily worried about it. Okay, well, last chance, guys. But yeah, what I was saying... Ow. What I was saying was, if I know an enemy is going to be really fast compared to me, then I might have... Like Gwyn, let's say, who doesn't have as much range. I might have him attack that enemy, counting on them uh, getting coming to me if they have more range and they're faster. So, okay, Hero died, but that's okay. And we get a new spell. All right. Yeah, basically it's like Deep Protect or something. So, yeah, that's going to be really useful for us. Okay, so that's everything we got here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment to kill all the enemies in the area, and I'll be right back. So, you know what? Let's save here now. Uh, yeah, right there will do. Oh, and I got to heal up. Oh, yeah, and by the way, uh, you see Hero? He has 1 HP. Uh, after a battle, you get auto-revived at 1 HP. So, yeah, I can take a moment to heal up and kill all the enemies, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Took care of all the enemies in the blue spire here. That upper left door there, that goes back down to the first floor. Same thing with the upper right door that we came up through. So, let's head on down here then. Let's see, didn't have to use all my MP. Usually I run out of MP for Hero using his pose sword on enemies all the time. Uh, also, while I was killing the enemies, gained a level for Hero at level 9. He learned Squall. Whatever. But actually, no. It's uh, pretty good. It hits a zone of enemies in battle. And since Hero actually has the speed to take advantage of it, that's pretty nice. Just that his wisdom stat isn't the best. So, mm, I mean, he's not a mage, but, well, it's okay. 
I'm getting herb here. Awesome. I'm probably going to want to start using my herbs, if only to not let my inventory clutter up too much, because uh, while items are stackable, you can only hold up to 20 of an item, like an herb or something. So, usually it's only herbs that I ever max out, or maybe starlights when I start buying them, actually. Okay, so we got those two from those chests. Then we go up the middle, because the upper left and the upper right area, yeah, we can't get to them from the middle here. So, oh well. But we got another herb there. Awesome. We're not going to have access to uh, healing all the time. Usually we will, but not, ev not every time. Let's see. Nothing down there, but we do have some treasures up here. Awesome. Oh, by the way, one thing about this dungeon. For some reason, going between the first and second floor of the spire here actually counts as leaving the dungeon or something. For some reason, I don't know why. Usually enemies only respawn when you leave the dungeon entirely, not going back to the first floor, but for some reason that happens here. I don't know why. Okay, let's find that destroyer and kick his ass. That's what we're here for, isn't it? Well, Hero's here to see if he can find some booty, but I don't know about Gwen. Hmm, a secret passage. Well, okay, let's take a look around. Hug the walls. Show the walls you care, hero. Uh, no, I was just following you. Leave no stone unturned. Okay, well, I'll just tell you. What, you missed the glowy... Er, model of the Earth there? Huh? How do you miss something like that? Hmm, I guess they watch the whole world from up here. Uh-oh. Are we on the blue star? No. No, we're still in the secret passage. That's okay. You're a, you're a freaking dragon! Just engulf it in fire. Let's see. I hope it's a naked woman and not the destroyer instead. It's so beautiful. Ah! Yeah. Ah, bright light, bright light, bright light. Got some shades there, hero. <laughs> well, first, we gotta put some clothes on her. There you go. I knew you could do it. What is that, Ruby? Uh, it's a girl, Hero. You can uh, close your mouth now, Hero. Stop drooling. Hey, okay, how's it going? I think I'm gonna hurl! <laughs> That wouldn't have been my first reaction. Okay, how's it go? <gasps> don't move. She can't see you if you don't move. My name is Lucia. Okay. I have come from the Blue Star on an urgent mission. 
Your world is in grave danger. I must see Athena immediately. Take me to her. D do you think she's friendly? She looks like she could be some sort of goddess or something. Nah. What are we gonna do? It couldn't possibly be true. Ruby the hero! <laughs> she's the most beautiful girl I've ever seen. The only girl you've ever seen. Hmm. Well, she looks like the destroyer to me. Why not? She's Hello? What's wrong with you? She's not even human. Here, let me tuck your tongue back into your mouth and wipe that drool off your chin. Hey, you, ouch! Knock it off, Ruby! <laughs> ah, Ruby. Who's so far? Well, she doesn't. She only gets reborn every few hundred years. You never know. Uh, well, I don't know where she is. I guess Leo would know, though. Oh. Yeah, well, Leo should. Well, of course. Oh, so that's how we get out of here. Yeah, I was gonna I was just about to ask, how are we gonna get out of this place anyway? Well, we teleported to the top floor. I guess there's no stairs at, up there. Well, it's not really a star. It's a planet, but we can pretend. Sounds like a plan. Well, why? She looks like a perfectly normal girl to me. Now we got more party members with Lucia. Yeah, look at that HP. And Okay, we can't see whatever she's got. She has some equipment, but that's about it. Ignore the mysterious pendant and her origins. I wouldn't worry about that, viewers. But anyway, let's get out of here now. Oh, I should probably move Lucia around somewhere. Uh, yeah, actually, you're fine right where you are. We'll just leave her alone like that. Whoa! I thought I killed them all! We killed you! Where'd you get a sword like that? All you got is a dagger. Or a really, really short sword. Well, five of them? I'm not, I'm not prepared for five. I can handle four. Hmm? What's that? Laser ring? Whoa! Holy crap! And hey, we get a level. All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do now is when you're going back down the blue spire, because we have to walk out of here, all the enemies are back, but that's probably a good thing for us because I want to get Gwyn up to level 12, and I'd probably just finish off level 12 for Hero as well. But really, I mostly want to get... Uh, Gwyn's spell that he gets at level 12. Uh, also, unbeknownst to me, until I started this LP, apparently the spells that Lucia can cast are dependent on Hero's level. So that's why I was saying I want to get her up to level 14, which you normally wouldn't, because then I can show off a spell of hers that you won't be able to see otherwise. At least that's what I've heard. I've never done it before, so I'll check it out. I'm not going to keep my file at level 14, though. I'm just going to get up to level 12, sit, make a backup save, get up to level 14, and show off the spell, and then go back to my level 12 save file. Nah, that couldn't possibly be true. 
oh yeah we might want to catch up with her and uh get out of here that that would be a a good idea there but can we make it out alive where is the destroyer is it lucia find out next time on let's play lunar 2 this is h.e bailey signing off have a good day